What's going on guys, it's Asthmatic here and I wanted to give a little look through the new dashboard on the new Xbox One Experience. So I've got it set up here streaming on my PC. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this is what you're going to see when you turn on your console uh, from now on and you've got your most recent used app is going to be right here big in the center. I was just watching Netflix before recording this so here we go. Um, you get you see these things over here on the on the left side that show you you know your friends party messages status settings and snappable apps and stuff and what I can do is go ahead and press left on the directional pad and then that actually pulls up this whole menu so I can see my friends I can see uh, party stuff I can see messages I can see notifications and then I got my settings and then I've got uh, I've got a link to the the main settings app where everything is can choose whether or not my connect is on for chat I gotta turn off and I also have a restart and then if you go down one more I see all of the apps I have that are snappable and then I can have those see those right there so I press back right now I'm here I've got over here on the right I've got some of the regular ads and all that kind of stuff that you're gonna see um, you get like a little tip right here I don't know if this is just a preview thing but it this always is refreshing with you know different kinds of tips and tricks on how to use this new guy Oops, sorry sit and slap my controller so this is just letting you know you can I use the right trigger to go right to my stuff which is all the way on the bottom of this list and if I hit that it takes me down here I get a link to my games and apps along with all of my pins and then if I'm back up top here I've got in order of use I've got all of my other games so Halo 5 I was watching Star Wars yesterday I've got that and I've got new Twitter followers uh, we've got, oh, that's behind my camera, so you guys didn't see that. All right. I've got Horizon 2 and then the Xbox Accessories app from when I did that uh, video the other day. Now, if I'm looking here at Halo 5, um, I can press uh, the hamburger button and I get these regular things here. The game hub uh, option is gone out of here because now, when I'm looking at Halo 5, I can just go to the right and I've got my link to the game hub. I can see all my friends who are playing and then I can see uh, my shared stuff and my captures from Halo 5. And then I've got the same thing obviously from Horizon 2 right there. So then looking over to the right uh, on the community tab, I see all of my uh, my feed, so everything. Of course, Fallout 4 just came out today when I'm recording this. So I've got all of this stuff from all my friends who are playing Fallout. I've got one guide, which is just the ads because I don't use my Xbox to watch TV, so I don't use one guide but you can still see all of this stuff down here what's going on on every all of these so you can see everything going on there and then when you go over to store let me actually stay here if you see up top uh, to the right of one guide I have the link or it, sh it shows store letting me know that's where it is and then when I go over that actually expands and shows me the subcategories within the store so the first thing we see here are the games which Rise of the Tomb Raider also just came out today I've got Fallout, I've got stuff on Siege, and then a couple other games that we've got coming out here. I uh, go down, I've got some game add-ons for new releases, as well as obviously the new releases themselves, uh, top-rated stuff. And then from games, if I go over to apps, we can see all this, blah, blah, blah. Come over to movies, we've got things that are there, and movies and TV. And then we go over and we've got our music stuff. So, and then as I go back to the left, store recondenses, and then we're back here. So really it's it's really simple uh, really the best compliment I can give it um, and I, I was talking to someone the other day who made this point that or actually it was my, my friend came over and he I was showing him this and he goes I've been sitting here looking at it for five minutes and I already don't remember what the old way looked like and that just goes to show that the team at Xbox has done a really great job of making this you know intuitive making this really makes sense that everything that I need to see is right here you know if I've got uh, something running like if I'm playing Halo 5, uh, and I'm right here on my uh, on my home screen. You know, there it is. And then when I go back, the app that is obviously still running in the background that's now minimized, it isn't super tiny. You know, I can I still have really good view of that. And if I'm going down here doing something else, and when I come back, I can clearly see what's going on. So if I'm in a loading screen or anything like that, I'm not getting lost. Or I'm trying to look. Oh, where's that at? Okay, now I'm gonna go over here. Everything's right here. Uh, this is a really good system. I've been using it for a couple weeks now, and I'm completely accustomed to it. Uh, it works out well when you're in a game. You can double tap the Xbox button, and then you get this list no matter where you're at. So that's you're going to be your link for snapping uh, different things, and that's going to be how you you know just get around because you can get pretty much anywhere from uh, this side menu. So it's great. 
it does work it's uh, yeah I can't complain about it I really like it so thanks guys very much if you have any additional questions please leave them down below in the comment section and stay subscribed for all the latest updates on Xbox news and games as they happen I'll be on Twitter and I'll be here bye guys